See, I'm using this tool to pull out that excess buttercream so I can hide it. Push it down. Okay. Now we can sit and adjust these all we want because they are on buttercream. If it was on fondant, you can't adjust. Once they stick, they stick. Okay. There you go. And then we got some ruffles. Okay. Now you can see that the wax has gotten firm, but it's not completely hard. I can still push my finger in here. You see this? So it's under the surface. So that's where I'm going to use the torch. to melt it, just so I can dunk the flowers in. Okay, so, and since the hole went right down, there's a hole. Can you see that? I poked a hole with the rose, so the warm wax is still down there. Okay, we're going to put this one on the side of the cake as soon as it crusts solidifies since this is all right you see how I'm pulling all these little petals up to the top so they don't get in there let it dunk I'll grab one leaf usually put leaves on first before you put the flowers don't panic if you did it the reverse I'm not panicked you saw me do it Okay, I'm dunking a piece of the, the leaf. You really see it on the green, how it solidifies. I like more than one dunk. Okay. So I want to set this right here. Try pushing it under. Try lifting. Usually I'd use a spatula to do this, but don't have one. I don't want to leave the camera area. So I'm just going to set that there. Okay, then I'm going to take and push this right in, put some of the white behind it, and you're going to be going through the um, fondant, push into it. I'm going under the ruffle, which you, I'm sure you can't see, but I'm lifting the ruffle up so I can get it to attach. Or take a toothpick and push it so it'll go through into it. Okay? All right, that's our wax flowers. Now I have these cute little candy hearts that I thought would help tie it in. So, I'm going to get my buttercream and I'm just going to touch it onto it so that I can put some little hearts here and there and make it a valentine cake. If you have a piping bag, use a piping bag, but I don't have one ready made for you guys. Yes, even professionals are unprepared. So it's a heart-shaped cake, cute little red heart doodads. These are sugar. These are um, commercially made. Cutting the, the um, polyfoil on these, it's the back of the cake. Don't worry about it. If you're going to be a little critical about it, then put another piece under it first before you start making the cut. But to do this angle, you have to cut the heart at that point to do it. So if you want to cover it, use another piece of the polyfoil that you cut off when you were making the cut for the circle. All right, feedback on the KitchenAid attachment was everybody said, okay, it was $150. No, Bed Bath & Beyond, this was $50. If you've got the $149, then it's all three attachments, which is all the different size pasta attachments. This one is just the wide band, bedbathandbeyond.com. It is by itself. And remember, it says right here, do not submerge. So you'll take your wet towel, and while it's running, you're going to rub it here, and you're going to rub it here, okay, to clean it all up. But do not submerge it in water. It will rust, okay? Don't stick your towel up here. It's going to grab it. Put it on your fingers underneath and hold it here and watch it clean the rollers. If you can't feel it in your fingers, fold it in half and go up like this. 
So if you stick it up here, it's going to grab it. Believe me, I know I did it. So you can learn from my mistake. Don't stick it on the top, stick it on the bottom. Okay, now here's our completed Valentine's cake and we want to thank you for joining us today and we uh, hope you'll come back for more episodes and I will be here some more. So check us out on yummyarts.com.